Evening everybody, uh, John from Messrs Whiskey & Co here. Uh, I hope you're all well. I hope you've got a, a dram of something tasty wherever you are in the world. Um, so today we're going to do uh, a whiskey review, but um, it's not going to be of a whiskey as such. It's going to be of a whiskey glass, uh, and this whiskey glass in particular. Um, so this is the 1920s Professional Blenders Whiskey Glass, as it is so called. Um, and the reason for taking a look at this glass today is it's something I've been doing a little bit of shouting about on, on Instagram and uh, talking to a few people uh, in the whiskey business that I've met over the last couple of weeks. Um, and I've had quite a lot of questions about it, quite a lot of questions come in online um, or people being quite curious as to what it is, what it does, um, whether it's any good or not. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a, a tutorial or a review for you today, give you a look at um, what this kind of glass can bring to your whiskey drinking experience. Um, so as I say, it's called the, the 1920s Professional Blenders Whiskey Glass. Um, a bit of a mouthful, but uh, it kind of says what it does on the tin, I guess. Um, so apparently this was used by blenders back around in the 1920s. Um, and as we'll get into in a moment, the, the nature and the shape of the glass um, helped professional blenders assess or really get into the nature of their, uh, their single malts or the grains that were going to go into their blending recipe. So as you can see, it sits alongside more commonly used uh, whiskey glasses. So your Glen Cairn glass, for example, um, or your Capita. Um, but this, in my opinion, just brings an extra dimension to your whiskey drinking. Um, it's less well recognised and uh, as it says in the title, is perhaps one that people might consider being more for the professionals. But in my view, uh, and as, as hopefully we'll get over, this is something that really anybody at any stage of their whiskey journey can use and, and should be using to get the most out of their whiskey. So let's take a little bit of a look at the glass itself. Um, the first thing you notice is this great onion shape of the glass itself. So it's really like a bulb. Um, quite different to most of the glasses you'll see out there. It's unlike anything you'll probably be served in a bar. It's unlike the classic tumbler that you see in the movies. Um, when you compare it there, it's just, it's, it's very, very different indeed. Uh, and there's a reason for that. This shape, um, a bit like the Glen Cairn glass, is designed to really accentuate the aromas um, of the whiskey in your glass. So if you give the whiskey in there a good swirl, I'll do that in a moment with the one I've picked, the theory is that this is going to really open up the aromas in that whiskey by letting them, by letting the air play with the whiskey as it's inside that bulb, inside the onion, and bring that up to the nose. The second thing you notice is this lovely narrow lip at the top of the glass. Now this I suppose there's two reasons for this. One is to channel those aromas that, that are um, finding their way out of the glass and straight up into your nose so you can get your nose quite deep into that glass. The second reason, as I've found when using it, is it just makes it a little bit easier to drink from. Um, there's a little less spillage just because of the nature and the shape of that lip just there. The third thing, and I love this about this particular glass, is this long narrow stem. So it's almost like a wine glass. Um, and I think there are a couple of reasons for this. One, it allows you to hold the glass up neatly to the eye and really have a good look at what's in your glass. Um, give it a good swirl around, have a look at the legs, have a look at the viscosity of your whiskey. Um, so it's a really, for me, it's a really beautiful design. Um, I think it took me a while to consider it a bit of a beautiful design, if I'm honest. I've maybe looked at this online before and thought, it's a bit ugly, I'm not really sure what it's going to bring to me. But um, Having used it and I'm spending a little bit more time admiring the shapes and understanding why the shapes are as they are, uh, I've really come to admire this glass um, above most others in my my glass collection, if that is such a thing. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at how it works with a little bit of whiskey in there. So the whiskey I've chosen to uh, test this glass out with today is one from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. It is the 9.109 called Zingy Blackcurrant Cheesecake with a little bit of a notch in the label as all good whiskies do after you've taken the bottles out on a couple of good adventures. Um, but the reason for picking one of this, obviously the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society do single cask, uh, cask strength whiskies. So typically um, in the glass neat, these are going to bring, uh, they're going to pack a punch. They're going to bring a lot to the nose, a lot to the palate. Um, so let's pop it in the glass and see what we can get out of it. And then pop a bit of water in there afterwards. There we go. I'll maybe put a bit more in. Be, be, be generous to myself. So that's the whiskey in the glass. I think that's that's a kind of 
rough serving, a typical 25 mil, maybe a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, it just sits beautifully at the bottom of the glass there, just under the kind of halfway point. Um, now this whiskey uh, itself is, is quite pale, straw in color. Um, I hope you can pick that up on the camera, um, nice and golden. And the first thing you can see is I'm holding the glass uh, by the stem right at the base, so I can get a really good swirl on there. See how the whiskey acts inside the glass. And I don't know if you can see there, but it's got some lovely legs that just start right at the top, right where the lip of this glass is. So let's bring it up to the nose and, and get in there and smell some of those aromas. Mm. So as I say, this, this whiskey is called a zingy black currant cheesecake. And as with a lot of Scotch Malt Whiskey Society whiskies, for me, the name on the label really lives up to what you get on the nose. Um, you can... It is zingy that you can you get the alcohol content right on the nose there straight away. Then the black currant. And and for me this yeah the cheesecake comes through at the end there just on the nose and if we look at what else is in there, some honey, some black pepper. Plum I'm not getting. Zingy lime. Uh, lime is an amazing flavour to be able to pick out of a whiskey. I think uh Kilkerran 12 year old does that as well as any whiskey and if you've never tried it, have a go. Try and pick out the limes. It's an incredible thing to pick out of a whiskey, especially this time of year um, when the sun sometimes shines in Scotland. Yeah, so really, really beautiful. Let's have a taste. <coughs> yeah, so there you go. There's a, there's a straight, straight away a bit of an alcohol burn there, but it's... Um, but it really is a lovely whiskey. It's been open for a little while, this one. It's taken me a couple of years to get through. Not because it's bad, just because I've got too much whiskey to drink. But it's gorgeous. It's creamy. It even leaves the mouth with the, the same feeling you get after you're eating a cheesecake. A lovely, a lovely, kind of, a lovely coating. Absolutely beautiful. So normally I'd add some water to this. Um, but unfortunately, instead of a water jug, I forgot my water jug. So I've just got... A tumbler with water in it and I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to pour um, a tumbler of water into a, a narrow stemmed whiskey glass um, but you guys know what you're doing so absolutely beautiful and with whiskies like this I mean it works these kind of glasses work for any whiskey um, whether they're um, sort of supermarket shelf blends uh, single casks but they really do pull out the flavor and when, when with something as um, but there's something as punchy as this, you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck when you use a proper glass to admire it. So what does this glass cost? Um, well, it's uh, £25 um, for most retailers online. You can find it starting about £25, so it's not cheap. It costs about five times as much, six times as much as a, a Glencairn, for example. Um, so this is a little bit of an investment. Um, but don't be put off like that, by that. Don't be put off by the price. Don't be put off by the kind of elaborate design, um, or indeed the, the use of the word professional in the title. Um, it's a glass for any occasion. I mean, whether you're sitting on your own of an evening um, and you've got a whiskey that you really want to dive into a little bit more, or it's a new whiskey that someone's given you and you really want to be able to pull out the aromas and the flavours from this, this new whiskey, then this is the glass to go to. Um, it's definitely my go-to glass when I'm drinking whiskey. Um, to, to appreciate what's in it, as opposed to just drinking it with a film or something. Um, definitely add, definitely worth adding one or two of these to the collection. I think if you if you host whiskey tastings, um, it's maybe asking quite a lot to get five per person. It's going to cost you a fair bit of money. But if you've got one or two of these in, in the collection and someone's coming around or you, you want to impress somebody with a particular whiskey or indeed a knowledge of, of the glassware, this is a fantastic option for you. Um, and it'll just give the whiskies you drink a little bit more depth and help you appreciate them a little more if you can pull if you can pull the uh, the flavors the aromas and flavors out of this one. Um, so thank you very much for listening. Uh, I hope that shed a little bit of light on on the professional the 1920s professional blenders glass. Definitely worth the 25 pounds if you ask me. Um, have a go. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll be popping a review, uh, a written review on the website tomorrow. So it's www.messerswhiskey.com, um, and I'll put a link up to that on Instagram as well. Um, but uh, Slunch it. Enjoy.